Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is July 21st, 2022. Here is the Feisty News for Women. A Washington mom turned her son into the police after finding a notebook with a written plan to commit a mass murder at his school and home. Nicole Schubert was featured on Good Morning America as she explained how, in 2019, she was cleaning her home and found her son's detailed written plans to kill her and then go on a killing spree at his high school. Within hours, she had notified the police of the notebook, who then took her son into custody. Her son denied that the plans were real, yet his mom also reported finding a homemade pipe bomb in his room. Nicole told interviewers, your first instinct is, as a parent, is to protect your child. But at that point, I felt like if he is actually going to do these things, he will be safer in jail. Well, we're all safer with him in jail. Thank you so much, mom. In other news, Russia's invasion of Ukraine began nearly five months ago. 9.6 million refugees have since left Ukraine, while an estimated 8 million people have been displaced. Many of these are women and single mothers with nowhere to go. As the world opens up with compassion to these refugees, investigators in Ukraine report arresting the leader of a criminal gang who has been forcing women into sex work abroad after luring them with promises of legitimate employment. Authorities in Kyiv arrested the suspected leader of the trafficking gang after following a woman who was set to meet a man who had promised her work in Turkey. After interviewing the woman, police learned that she was a single mother desperate for work because of the war. The crime leader had bought her tickets to travel to Turkey, had given her some money, and organized her travel. With this information, authorities arrested that man and searched his office, where they found that he kept records of at least 10 women in Turkey in a notebook, along with their work days and a price list for each service. The woman who led the police to his criminal has agreed to testify against them. Men who hurt women who are trusting them to help them are the worst kind of demons. Men should be protectors of women, not predators. If you want to call yourself a real man, play your role. In other news, comedian Dave Chappelle, who is arguably a household name, is known best for his starring in films like Half Baked, hosting his mega hit show, The Chappelle Show, and earning $20 million for each Netflix special he created. He's been in the news lately, mainly for making transphobic comments during his comedy specials. And the trans community is making their voices heard that they do not appreciate his brand of comedy, which he labels artistic freedom. Yes, as an artist, Chappelle is free to show his ignorance all he wants. And yes, we are all free to boycott, yell, and cancel him for his comments. Yet, while cheering for the voices being raised in defense of trans people, I can't help but to wonder, when will anyone raise their voice for me? I am a black woman. And in this society, I am the muse, the mule, and the martyr. Where's the outrage when a black woman is missing? Where's the cancel culture when the black woman is widely imitated by the masses, yet personally neglected by the same society? Where's the crew of freedom fighters when a black woman is murdered by the police? Yes, trans women are women. Yes, Dave Chappelle's brand of comedy is old fashioned and ignorant. Scream, yell, cancel the ignorance. But if you're going to stand up and fight for one group, then please do it for all. Say her name. Brianna Taylor. Say her name, Natasha McKenna. Say her name, Sandra Bland. Say her name, Yvette Smith. Say her name. Well, it's time for a break. What is the woman's biggest fear when going into labor? And guess what? Jennifer Lopez is married again. Why should we all be celebrating? We'll explore these stories and more right after the break. Don't miss it. 
heart for homemaking flows through my hands into each knot of my work. My name is Natalie and I'm the owner and maker of Fringe and Free. I started my business because I wanted more home decor handmade with natural elements. My style is earthy, minimal, and warm. I want to express life, peace, and joy. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the spicy news for women. Girl, guess what? Did you hear about Jennifer Lopez and her dream Las Vegas wedding? Actress, singer, superstar Jennifer Lopez married fellow actor Ben Affleck in Las Vegas this past weekend, making this her fourth marriage over the course of 25 years. And people are talking. The gossip mills are making fun of Mrs. Affleck for changing her last name to his and for once again, trying her hand at marriage. I honestly disagree with the peasants judging J-Lo for tying the knot again. Jennifer has been a celebrity since 1991 when she made her debut as a dancer on In Living Color. Since then, she has managed to parlay her career into three decades of lasting fame, fortune, and respect, unlike many other celebrities from her time. Watching her success, I believe Jennifer approaches love in the same manner. She knows what she deserves and she won't give up until she gets it. Jennifer, thank you for showing women you only win when you're willing to try try, try again. Congratulations. I wish you the best. In other news, we're living the feisty life and sometimes even our best fantasies come with just a little bit of turmoil. Let's meet Shanadra, who went through a labor and delivery that most women would never ever want to go through. Hey, Shanadra, tell us what happened during your L&D. Hi, my name is Shanadra Washington and I survived. Let's get this. 41 hours of labor. On July 23rd, 2017, they told me to come in and they was going to induce my labor. I had some problems with my blood pressure throughout my pregnancy and that was extremely scary. So they said at 38 weeks, I would need to be induced. So I went in Sunday, July 23rd at 7 o'clock a.m. and they told me, oh, by noon, we're going to have a bouncing baby boy. Oh, by three o'clock, you should definitely be done with everything. Well, nine o'clock came, 10 o'clock came, 10 p.m. came, 11 p.m. came, still no baby. I can remember just being terrified, thinking what's wrong? Are we gonna have complications? My family is panting and waiting and I'm just sitting there just drowning honestly in fear. So the 24th rolls around, it's 7 a.m., still no baby. I'm being pumped with fluids to ensure that uh, my blood sugar is down and they're treating my blood pressure. So I'm just being pumped up with all these fluids. And in that moment, I'm thinking like, I just may not make it. I'm feeling so flushed and my body is tired. Still, 10 p.m., no baby. So they come in and tell me, well, if no baby by midnight, then we're gonna have to cut this baby out of you. I didn't know what to think. I always wanted a natural birth. And to the thought of being in surgery, going under the knife really, really scared me. Literally guys, at 11.58 p.m. on July 24th, they say, oh my God, I think he's coming out. And he reared his head at 12.05 a.m. on July 25th, 2017. When I first held my son, I I can't even really put it in words, to be honest with you. It's this feeling that you just can't describe. Like, you know love, but then when you have a son and hold something that you birth, it's just a different level of love. It was totally worth it. My son is my life. He's my world. My life has changed so much with him in it. I have become a dreamer. I see life through him. And right now, he's at an age, he's almost five years old, but his love is just so pure. Even on his most rambunctious days, there's not a day that passed and my son doesn't say, Mommy, I love you. Or Mommy, I love your smile. Or Mommy, you're beautiful. I truly love him. I would not change this journey for the world. Oh, no, honey. 41 hours of labor. All I have to say is, I love my Morena. <laughs> well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. 
women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the feisty. Welcome to the feisty. Here we go. Welcome to the feisty. News for women.